uh, today we're going to take a look at um, Microsoft Word and just some of the basics of Microsoft Word. So notice I already have it open. Uh, to launch yours, your program, usually you go to Windows button, All Programs, and then it's probably going to be somewhere like Microsoft Office or something like that. Okay. Um, another way to get, in, get into Microsoft Word is actually to right click uh, in any folder and go New and you'll notice that Microsoft Word uh, adds a, um, uh, an item to this context menu. So new Microsoft Word document, that will create a document in whatever folder uh, that you want that you can rename. Um, okay, so those are a couple different ways. Notice that it gets saved with the docx file extension. Your file extensions may or may not, the viewing the file extensions may or may not be turned on, but that's the default file extension for Microsoft Word. Okay, so let's take a look, quick look at the interface here. Microsoft Word, uh, it has a couple quick buttons up here. So we have um, this Save button is probably the most important one. Notice it's a floppy disk. You've probably never seen one, but that's how we used to save information on a computer, and that's still the icon for Save. Um, but most of the file operations are in this File menu. So notice if we click on the File tab, Notice that we get a lot of, uh, of options here. Okay, so this is where I'd save, save as. We can save it as Adobe PDF. We can open a different Microsoft uh, document, Microsoft uh, Word document. Um, um, also on this file menu, uh, we have print. So this is where you would go to print. So on file, our main options are going to be here, our save or save as, and print. Okay, so of course, save as, uh, that's just save the document. Whenever you open up a new document, the first thing that you want to do is save it. Uh, so let's go ahead and click save. The first time when we save, we have to select a place to save it into. Uh, so I'm going to go find my school folder on my de desktop and I'm going to save it as uh, English Assignment 2. And click save. Okay, so that's basically the file menu. Okay, now let's take a look at the home menu, uh, or the home tab. So Microsoft refers to this thing as a ribbon right here. Okay, so this is a ribbon interface. So the tabs let you change between ribbons. Um, and what we have here is we have basic your basic text editing. So I'd call this my, uh, let's say I have a document title, okay? And let's say I have my title here, and I'd like my title to be bold, so I click B. Notice that when I have text that's bolded, um, let's say I have a subtitle. Okay, notice that it'll keep typing in bold. Notice if I, if I highlight this and unclick the bold, it unbolds it. Okay, so I can italicize, underline, I can change the font. Notice that I have to select the text first. Um, when I select test, Microsoft gives me this pop-up menu right here, and you can, you know, it has your basic formatting right here if you don't want to go all the way up to the ribbon. Um, okay, but I can go ahead and uh, select a new uh, font or new size. Let's say that I want to make this size bigger. Notice that it automatically makes it larger. I can also center the text. Okay, so the, the Windows uh, title, I'm sorry, the Windows, not the Windows, the Home tab uh, allows me to do all my basic uh, text formatting. I can make a list. Okay, I can make a list, uh, and I can make it bulleted. Here are my bullets. Okay. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and take another look at, let's take a look at the other tab. So insert, this is where I would insert a blank page or page break. This can be very useful. If I insert a page break, I get a new page. So anywhere on my page, I don't have to keep hitting enter. I can just put in a page break, and it gives me a new, fresh page. I can insert a table here. Okay, notice that it lets me select what kind of table. I can insert a picture. Uh, by going and selecting a, a picture from my computer. I can insert uh, shapes, different kinds of charts. Okay, the other useful thing here is going to be a header or footer. Okay, so this on the insert page, I also can insert a footer. Um, and this could be um, anything from uh, page numbers to anything else. And notice it automatically brings up the footer uh, and gives me this footer menu. Notice that if I go ahead and insert a header, I can insert a header here. Um, okay, and notice well, after I insert that header, I can actually go back in and double click and I get back into this header, special header uh, toolbar up here. Okay, so uh, 
Let's get away from the header. So that's on the insert menu. Okay, so I can insert all those different things. Now on page layout, this is where you uh, actually uh, take a look at the margin. So if your teacher has a specific margin that they need you to use, uh, this, is, this is right where you do that. So I can adjust the margins. Um, I can also put in line breaks or line numbers, hyphenating. Okay, this is where if I want to make my orientation different, say I want to print out not in portrait so the paper stands up, but on landscape to make my paper a bit wider. Um, this is where I can do that. Notice that now my paper is, is far wider. I'm going to change this back to portrait. Um, so those are your, your main things. Also, this is where you have spacing. So if I have uh, a couple lines of text, okay, notice this is where I would uh, change my spacing, okay? Uh, and they have increased points of spacing, whoops, okay, or decreasing points of spacing, okay. Um, we can also change the page color and page borders. Okay, now ref so that's the, basically the page layout tab. Anything having to do with how the how the content is displayed on the page that affects the entire page is on the is on the page layout tab. Now we have references. So uh, this this is more of advanced uh, section. This would be for uh, proofreading and this type of thing. Um, as a beginning user, you may or may not be using references. Mailings. This is where you would. Um, create multiple um, pages for, say, mailing out personalized letters, like uh, putting in people's first names or last names for many, many recipients. Okay. I'm sorry, references, I made a mistake. References are not, were not where you review things. Uh, references uh, are where we'd insert footnotes, so this would be for, for academic papers. The review tab is where you would do proofreading. Um, and you may not be using either one of those, the references, mailings, or review when you first start using Microsoft Word. Finally, the view tab. This is where you affect how things are displayed on the page. So we have uh, web layout. This is good uh, if, say, a table goes off the page. Web layout shows you absolutely everything regardless of page size. We can also turn on the rulers, grid lines, navigation page. Okay, rulers is probably the one thing that you'll definitely want to turn on because this can uh, affect your tabs, okay? So if we actually put in a tab stop, what that does for us, if we, uh, if we click onto this line, notice our tab stop. If I click tab one time, notice that my cursor goes over to this tab stop. That's something that you can uh, use. We can also do things like arrange our windows that are open. Okay, finally we have add-ins and Acrobat. Okay, so that's a review of the main features of Word. Uh, you should experiment with them yourselves or use them as needed.